Johnny wants. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> howdy, howdy, folks. It's Diecast Buffet here again. Uh, we have a Shrek paint scheme in house today, and oh boy, it's gonna be fun. So this is the Shrek Two um, Chevrolet Monte Carlo for Bobby Labonte, which I think ran at the All Star Race. Could be mistaken. This is such a cool looking paint scheme, though. Oh my goodness. Let's go ahead and dive into it. So this was a very, very um, interesting paint scheme. You know, Shrek and NASCAR was actually a pretty cool partnership they had. Um, they had Tony Stewart ran a paint scheme in the Tony car at the All-Star Race. I think this one ran in conjunction with it. But it was just a really cool partnership uh, that they had with Joe Gibbs Racing. And another layer to that, this car unfortunately was not on NASCAR Chase of the Cup or NASCAR 06, which is really lame. You know, they had a Tony Stewart one. So, got interstate batteries right there on the hood. You had this beautiful interstate battery screen with kind of like a splash ogre swamp green design to it. You got Shrek 2. You got Shrek on the hood. He's having a jolly good time there, I will say. You got whatever this is, uh, Walber 10. I have no idea. Uh, <laughs> you go to the front of the car. I am a huge fan of splash graphics. I love these like splash um dirt graphics they look really cool get the chevrolet bow tie there monte carlo get number 18 get uh moo clavine comp simpson etterbrock and you get the wix air filters decal there very very cool looking car this car is used right it's been in my collection uh but what a beautiful paint scheme so let's go ahead and dive in into it the whole car is painted with that very very nice um it, it looks like the lego brick green honestly um so it's, that's the, pretty much the main base of the car. But all the black and stuff, I believe, is decaled. Uh, what a cool-looking paint scheme. Check this out. It's like a, like a graffiti splash graphics. Got the number, eight, uh, number 18 there. Got Bobby Labonte. Um, you got, you got Coca-Cola, MBNA, some other logos, Cintas, um, Interstate Batteries, MBNA. You got Wix Air Filters. You got Donkey. Donkey. He's just chilling there. You got Wall. Bertrand, whatever the biff fat is, Con Agra Foods. Um, get, uh, what is that? Mac Tools, Sherwin Williams, and Food Lion. Uh, you get uh, Nextel Cup Series, Race Car, USG, Waste Management, 3M, Holly, Bootleg Bull uh, Pole, uh, Bud Pole Award, if I can English. Uh, McDonald's Powerade, uh, Infograms, Mechanics Wear, Auto, uh, Auto Meter, and Jessel EA Sports, Mac Tools. You get the Goodyear decal here, which unfortunately kind of blends in with the splash green. All right, so over here to the back end of this car. I apologize for the audio. Um, I had totally forgot my mic was not plugged in fully, so you have that good old echoing effect, but uh, or echoing, but uh, the 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 normal uh, camera audio. Uh, so, anyways, uh, now we have our proper mic uh, plugged in. We got uh, interstate batteries right there with the bow tie. Uh, I like the splash back end. Really, really cool stuff. It is symmetrical. You can see uh, each little dot is on both sides of it, which is pretty cool. Go to the right side of the car, and you got Donkey. And you got Shrek on this side. On this side, you only really got Donkey. He's pretty lonely. But you go over here to the right side, you got both of the cats. And they're having a jolly good time. But uh, what a great looking paint scheme, man. The red on this thing is very bright, very potent, which is really, really nice. The 18 right there in the roof. And you got MBNA. Right there on the deck lid. Alrighty, folks. So um, I'm running out of memory uh, for my camera here. So um, I'm going to have to wrap it up now. Uh, thank you all so much for watching the video. Of course, for all your diecast shopping needs, you know what to do. Promo code down below. But uh, this is an awesome diecast, guys. If you see this car, um, I highly recommend picking it up. But if you do find this car mint in the package, I actually don't recommend pick, uh, taking it out of the package. I recommend leaving in it. Uh, leaving it in the package because as time goes on, these are only going to get harder and harder to find, and they're not making any more of them, guys. So uh, we have to enjoy what we have left of this era. So, anyways, thank you all again for watching. Have a great one, Diecast Buffet. Sign it off.